<laughs> that was good. Yeah. yeah. Brew day update. Hey, how you doing? Good. Is everyone's what? Is, is everyone's favorite shot? When the camera just kind of slowly turns around and reveals who's behind it. That's my favorite part of it. Whoa. Everybody knows that scene. Yeah. All right. We are officially brewing and we are sparging hence all of the beautiful sounds you will hear this is joe hey hey how's it going <laughs> okay so this is the view that is sparging joe what is sparging we are trying to rinse as much of the sugar off the brain as we can in there what's in there that is work. That is beer before it becomes beer. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. So, um, tell us a little bit about the process that it takes to go from the mash tun over to the boil. The boil okay. Well, once we're done mash, we got to do a boil up, which is basically, so we're going to take the grains and the liquid, anything that's loose at the bottom. So we don't want any of the grains to go into the boil kettle. We want them to just stay in the mash tun. So in order to do that, we got to kind of create a, a bed of grains that allows it to kind of siphon down and kind of filter itself out. So it goes into this, this, this little work grain right here. <laughs> Gravity feeds down into that, and we got a pump that pumps it back up. It goes up into here first. And as soon as it gets filtered out enough where it's not forming the grains, then we can transfer it into the boil pan. Okay, and then what happens once it gets to the boil? All right, and about how long will that be? Speak up. When did we start the When did you write it down? I'm sure you wrote it down. Excellent record keeping, Lord. Nice one, so I've done a little power. Okay. Okay. So then, um, Damon, if you want to hop in, so once things, <laughs> so um, once the all of the liquid has drained out of the mash tun, what happens then? We've got to do mash out. So typically, we're scraping grain. What is what is mashing out for folks? <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so Nathan, where do we put our grains here? Uh, we have a farmer who comes and picks them up, and our friend Chad, uh, he raises cattle and some other livestock, and uh, he and his father will come and pick 
it up and then they'll take it to feed their, their cows and such. And uh, yeah, if you come into our tap room once we're past all of this, you will notice a lovely framed picture of the supreme brand champion breeding effort, which they have won for the past three years. And we like to say that it's solely due to the fact that they feed their cattle our spent grain. I mean, I'm sure it has nothing to do with their breeding program or the wonderful care their daughter provides to these animals. It's 100% our spent grain. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody would agree with that. And find that you have a very nice spent grain Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yep. So then, Joe, once it gets to the boil and things are churning and cooking, will we be doing any additions at that point? Yes. Yes. We'll be doing some hot dishes. We have two additions, I believe. What a great leading question. Were you ever an attorney? It's a journalism major. <laughs> Awesome. And do you know what hops we're using today? All right, cool. We'll do another check-in when you guys are doing mash out because that's a fun thing to fun thing to see and share. So thank you all very much. Stay tuned for a conversation with me, which is weird, but we'll be right back. <laughs>